Good morning. Welcome to the webinar, Power Designer, the Enterprise Architecture Leading Tool that allows the alignment between business and IT. With me, we have today, João Classo. João Classo is the IT Governance Architect from Saiwan, and I'm the Chief Commercial Officer. Good morning, everyone. And the agenda for today is uh, to introduce the practice of enterprise architecture, to present Power Designer as a leading tool, and also, in the end, some references and packages. So regarding uh, architecture, architecture has always been around us and uh, initially, as everybody knows, on buildings. And of course, uh, when it relates to the IT industry, not as much as we wish to. But in fact, thousands of years of history suggest that the only known strategy for addressing complexity and change is architecture. And ideally, we should have an image like this. So. When we think about architecture applied to an organization and its IT alignment, we usually refer to enterprise architecture. So there's a lot of definitions for EA, but we prefer the one published on, on uh, Wikipedia, as, as you may see. So EA is not a project, it is a practice, meaning a set of initiatives that are always running, and it concerns the analysis, design, planning, and implementation with the objective of successfully develop and execute the strategy applied of course to organizations and its alignment with with it so there are several types of drivers affecting the current status of and the future of your architecture both internal and external factors may play its role influencing the future of the company enterprise architecture for example if a company decides to expand its operation to a new geography, there will be a deep impact in the enterprise architecture. Also, if it decides to move the, the infrastructure from on-premise to a new initiative of code adoption, there will also be a deep impact in the enterprise architecture. From a theoretical perspective, enterprise architecture is usually segmented by layers, each defining and describing an enterprise of your architecture, as you see in the, in the image. So the business layer is the one that usually concerns most companies when they think about enterprise architecture initiatives. In this layer, we define processes, organizations, and services. We might think on this on creating the mission, the business organization goals, and then how it relates with my structure regarding the organogram, the organization, the processes, and the services as we refer. The next layer defines the data elements used by the company from a conceptual view to a more physical approach. By conceptual, we mean the identification of the entities and the attributes involved in the company processes and services. The next layer is the application layers, which maps application structure, its components, services, as well as tools used. And for the last layer, we have the technology layer. And in this layer, we map network, servers, workstations, databases, and every other uh, technological component. As discussed before, changes might occur due to internal or external drivers, and they affect the architecture from the business layer downwards or the opposite way. The idea is really to be able to identify the impact of those changes from any layer to any other layer of the architecture. So enterprise architecture does not define an order for these layers. Although they are stacked, a company might start by the top, the bottom, or even the middle. The alignment of change also comes through the agility that is obtained by managing the architecture at the business level. So João will deep dive on Power Designer and introduce uh, what you can do with Power Designer and, and how it relates with uh, what I have presented. So João. Thank you for the introduction, Tiago. So uh, I will now explain how Power Designer provides an holistic approach to enterprise architecture. 